That Evan was just laying out that the Biden administration is about to come out and accuse Russia of trying to uh, carry out a sustained effort to influence the upcoming election. Hey, hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. You do not hate the media enough. They want you to believe two contradictory things simultaneously. One, that we have the freest, fairest, most secure elections ever. Also, if Democrats lose, it's because Russia stole the election. They've literally created a scenario where it's only a legitimate election if Democrats win, which you better accept or you're a dangerous, unpatriotic election denier. You just have to accept that it's different when they deny election results and so distrust in the institution. Our following breaking news just into CNN, the Biden administration is expected to accuse Russia of a sustained effort to influence the 2024 elections. Well, Jim, uh, this is a, an effort by the Biden administration to get ahead of what uh, the Russians are, are alleg allegedly doing. Uh, uh, they said that there was a Russia Today employee who was running about a thousand social media accounts that were, were essentially used to sort of divide Americans. Does all this sound at all f uh, familiar to you? What can the U.S. do? And is there anything in what they said today that's going to in any way dissuade Vladimir Putin? I think this is a good sign. It's a shot across the bow to remind Americans of this kind of behavior. Uh, we talked a lot about it in 2016. No shit. The Biden administration taking a series of actions to target what they allege are attempts by Russian-backed actors to manipulate public opinion here in the U.S., ahead of the presidential election. Have you looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> this does appear to represent an escalation in the efforts to try to purge the system of Russian propaganda and disinformation. Just remember, it's not a lie if you believe it. Mm, yes, yes, interesting, interesting. Interesting that we get this obvious distraction just a day after finding out a CCP spy was pretty close to Kamala Harris and has promotional videos out there that look and sound like they could have come straight from a Harris campaign ad. I think, you know, when people say diversity and inclusion, I think everybody agrees or most people generally agree that it's a good thing, right? Absolutely not. Um, but I think right now we also need to bring in the word equity. Everybody should end up in the same place. And since we didn't start in the same place, some folks might need more. Equitable distribution. But equity is when we make sure that all of the people who are at the table have equal access to making sure that their ideas and their thoughts are heard. We are proud of the fact that equity is one of our guiding principles. Proud of the fact that we understand Equality is important, but not everybody starts out on the same base. Something very familiar about all this. It all makes sense now. No wonder CNN just rehired Brian Stelter. CNN itself has been so hot on Russia, 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 on the dossier. CNN's been obsessed with this dossier for over a year now. And now that we know the DNC and the Clinton campaign paid the same firm for said dossier, which is completely unverified, we can't get you excited. If you Parts look back at your whole year. That is misinformation that you're spreading on my program. Hold on, a lot of it has not been verified. Much of the dossier. Hold on. You, you just it said the entire dossier is unverified. No, no, that I is said inaccurate. it has not been verified. It has not Mu been verified. But the pieces important, of the look, dossier have been verified. By the way. They're bringing back the Russian collusion hoax because they're worried that Trump's going to win. That's the thing about this story. We're being told this by people who have propagandized this country for eight years about the dangers of election denial and sowing distrust in the institutions. Yet they're actively engaged in all the things they accuse their opponents of doing. Yeah. But it's different. The truth is, Russia does meddle in our elections, as well as many other countries. But their effect is negligible at best. In fact, many of the things they told us Russia was engaged in had no measurable effect whatsoever. And they did it to both sides, which is funny because both CNN and MSNBC promoted anti-Trump rallies that were organized by Russia. The only purpose these propagandistic stories serve at this point is to motivate Democrats to vote for Kamala Harris out of fear and paranoia. It also serves as an excuse for the media and Democrats to claim the election was stolen if they lose, which they will if the pattern since the year 2000 holds true. It'll be their mental rationalization so they can convince themselves that they're not the very thing they accuse their opponents of being. It's just so maddening. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post content on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.